What's up, guys? Welcome to Coffee Time, episode 12. 12. It's a whole baker's dozen. Absolutely. No, it's not. A baker's dozen's 13. Well, it's a regular dozen. It's a regular <laughs> dozen. Anyways, uh, we have a very special episode for you today. As you can see, we are not on the couch, but before we get into it, let's run that intro. There's something above my head. There is. There is a top-down view above your head. Why is there a top-down view? So people can see what's going on. Let's tell them what's up. Product photography. We're gonna show you guys how we do product photography. Yeah. I'm sorry there's been a lapse of videos guys. We've been uh, pretty busy uh, working and trying to deal with this whole crazy virus thing. So yeah, we're back and we're giving you guys a pretty cool tutorial. Let's do it. Yeah. So, why is product photography important? I think it's important because it really shows off your skills in photography to uh, pertain towards a business or a company. Yeah, you know, if you're uh, helping a company or even your friends uh, build a website, for instance, or even just, you know, make super awesome Facebook sell pages, I don't know. But you can really use these skills to, um, to your advantage. Uh, taking product photography, but a lot of people, you know, they say, hey, can you take a picture of, you know, for instance, uh, take a picture of this watch. Uh, they'll just slap the watch uh, on, the, on, the table. on the table and so we're here to give you some tips on how to make, how to elevate that, elevate it and make your product photography awesome. awesome. Yeah. So uh, we're doing something for the first time, guys. We got a top down view. So uh, just side, you can go ahead and hit record on that so you guys can see what we are doing here. All right. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I would set up a little photo uh, for this here watch. All right guys, so let's uh, get going with a picture of this watch. So we've got a couple different props over here. We've got a gold lighter, a gold shell, this green shell, and this knife with a leather case. So, my big thing is I like to elevate the main subject. So I'm gonna use the knife to elevate this watch. So it, it takes some balance to figure out where you like it. I think that's pretty cool. And then set your other things just as texture pieces off in the background. So I'm gonna take a couple shots of that and we'll show it to you on screen what it looks like. So, next up we're gonna let Josiah do his take on this watch. So, Josiah, take it away. All right. So, <clears throat> oh, what's that you say? Why, yes, it is a new camera. This is the 6D Mark II. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I yeah, finally, he's a big boy now. He's I've got a big boy camera. I have a pro camera, and I'm very excited. This is actually the first time I've used it, so uh, let's do it. Yeah. So. Uh, Show them how you would set up this whole gallery here to take a shot. Yeah. <clears throat> In your style. In my style. All right. So let's see. Well, I really like the watch, but I kind of want to focus on the knife. I like this knife. So let's see what I can do to make this really pop out. Wow. Balancing is give you a little oh there we go Wow. this is all trial and error guys just got to do what you think looks the best all right 
see. So it's important to, to know that this is all your own style. Nobody has to, is going to tell you what you need to take a picture of, exactly how you need to do it. It's all up to you how you set up, what props you do to really elevate the meaning and stuff behind whatever you're taking a product photo of. So, like as you can see, I did the watch, he's doing the knife. So, two different things from two different people. There's also other types of product photography that you can do, not just shots like this, but you can do flat, flat lay photography. That's also a pretty cool way to show your different objects. And uh, I will give you an example of that after Josiah finishes up here with a flat lay. Cool shots, man. I feel like I did. All right, so let's move on and show some flat light photography. So, as you're flat light, that means you're gonna lay everything out flat, and you're gonna take the picture from above. So, I'm still gonna use a couple of the same things. But I'm gonna take out a couple of the atoms and add a couple new pieces in. So, my main focus is going to be on this watch. And I also want there to be different texture pieces. If I can keep it from rolling. Use my rings. And then like I said, we're gonna shoot straight down and that is gonna give you a whole different look. So these shots are super cool for Instagram. People love to see this style. And I just think it's pretty cool to show off your specific, you know, style. It's all about being creative and thinking outside the box when you're doing this kind of photography. Product photography is about what is special to you. So by making it creative, you can play around with it. And then of course you can play around in editing as well, making different light choices. You know, you can get really cinematic with it and you can get even like fog machines. Uh, you can get spray and spray water on stuff. You know, the, the sky's the limit when it comes to taking this kind of photography. So that is a couple of different examples of product photography besides just throwing the watch on the table right there in the center, taking a picture of it by itself. It gives some, uh, some texture to it. It gives some just character and I think that really elevates a product photo. Yeah, I would absolutely agree with that. Absolutely. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, comment down soon, we're gonna have a lighting tutorial. That's these things. Yeah, and a light panning tutorial. That's, all coming soon. That's not these things. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you guys out if you guys are out there taking product photos. And it doesn't have to be for a company, it could just be for yourself. Yeah, so uh, thank you for watching and please make sure if you haven't already, uh, please subscribe. And we're lonely. hit that bell so you get notifications every time we post a video. You know, give us a comment on uh, what you guys would like to see in a tutorial video. And uh, as always guys, take your shot and just go shoot. Let's make it happen. Can we have like, Cushions. I'm gonna do all of this. <laughs> also, it looks like I'm in prison with these bars. That's there's that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> old man. Ah.